listen up, tonight is going to be the same routine. If a situation happens where you see the chaos might spill into some crazy situation where a lot of people may get hurt, I expect you guys to go in and take control of the situation, all right? Sure, yes, sir. Taz, what brings you here? How can I help you? Eric, you know exactly what's up. I've texted you, sent you emails. What more do you want? Want me to snail mail it to you, bud? Taz, I can't let you go out there and have a match with Brody. Especially since that boot he gave you last week accidentally gave you a mild concussion. Eric, I don't think you understand how I feel. I feel embarrassed and humiliated. I could have stopped his attack on that referee. I could have put him down, and the show wouldn't have gone to chaos by the end. I need this, Eric, please. Mild concussion. Who cares? I've been to war before, and I know what to do in the field of battle. You know why it's difficult for me to approve this, Taz? You're not even a wrestler here. You only have a managerial license, and because of that head injury you got, I could be liable for all of this. Of Come on, Eric! I won't leave until you give me that green signal for this. I need to take it out on Brody. I need him and everyone to know that I'm still one of the baddest men there is. Come on, Eric, I really need this. There is one way I could do this, but it's going to be risky for you. Basically, Destroyer Wrestling and I will not be liable in case you get injured or you die. We can have it be a lights out, non-sanctioned match. I'll take it, Eric, that's just what I need. Thank you. But Taz, be warned, that's Brody Lee you're going to be facing. He's the champion for a reason. I don't give a shit about what he's done to be world champion. Tonight, I'm taking Brody Lee down, and I'm giving him hell. I won't even have Brian Cage accompany me. I'm going to show him exactly who Taz is, and the only way for him to survive is if I let him. Taz, just, just be careful out there. You don't ever need to worry about me, Eric. Sadly, that's what they all say. Gentlemen, whatever happens to his match against Brody, Destroya has no jurisdiction. It's not a match we're sanctioning, so don't get involved. They're simply borrowing our ring. If you get involved, I become responsible. Show's about to start. Better prep up, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, live from a sold-out crowd, welcome to the second edition of Destroyer Attack. We have a very exciting card for our first match, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Kingston will make his in-ring debut against a relatively unknown person. We will find out who he is later on. But for our main event, the legendary Hardy Boys will take on the number one tag team championship contenders, Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins. Now let's kick things off. Ladies and gentlemen, kicking off the second episode of Destroy Attack is this man right here, the Mad King, Eddie Kingston, who's been, you know, lately he's been having problems with top NBA star Ja Morant. But will Ja Morant be a factor tonight? Because that man has already attacked Eddie Kingston twice with a professional basketball, licensed by the NBA, I believe. That's right, I heard that the basketball he used to attack Eddie Kingston was the one being used in the NBA. But most importantly, actually, right now, you know, we should be wondering who Eddie Kingston's opponent will be. I'm eager to know as much as, you know, Eddie Kingston is. And we got smoke all over the arena, and here he is! 
Nocturne. What an interesting name. And Nocturne looks pretty tough. He looks like some sort of like a ninja. And the crowd's, you know, trying to analyze exactly what they're looking at. What can Nocturne offer here in this match? Will he be able to take down Eddie Kingston? And wow, what an athletic backflip by him. Both of these men are going to be making their debut here in Destroya. And who will take their first victory in that ring? Now the rookie Nocturne has this match under his control. But Kingston pushes him to the other side. And he evades that one. And what is this? Reverse run by Nocturne sending Eddie Kingston outside of the ring. This is not looking good for Eddie Kingston. And a Tobacco Hilo by Nocturne. The fans are absolutely loving Nocturne right now. And how could you not? He looks pretty dang cool. And trust me, I know looking cool does not win you matches. But it looks like Nocturne is backing it up right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we might be witnessing an upset victory in the making right now. But Kingston has Nocturne. Nocturne lands on his feet. But Kingston counters that one with an Exploder Suplex. And Kingston now going after Nocturne. The tables have definitely turned as Kingston goes for the violence party onto Nocturne. I guess this is a Kingston's way of welcoming Nocturne to the Destroya locker room roster. And a snapmare here by Eddie Kingston. What is Kingston going to do here? And a massive forearm to the back of the neck of Nocturne, Eddie Kingston. Showing the rookie exactly who the hell he is. And Kingston attacking the leg of Nocturne. And I guess this is where experience plays in part. As Eddie Kingston showing his ring IQ. He is taking down Nocturne's legs. And the reason probably is because you know Nocturne has been showing off some good agility. And Kingston is going to take away that advantage from Nocturne. Now the referee telling Eddie Kingston to back off, but we all know Eddie Kingston. He does not back off to anyone and not turn with a counter, sending Eddie Kingston down. What is Nocturne going to do here? Springboard, but his leg gives out. His leg gives out. Kingston with a single leg. Boston Crab will not turn tap out. Will not turn tap out, but he reaches, he reaches the ropes, and it's a rope break. Eddie Kingston has no choice but to obey the referee's order here, or else he will be disqualified. And we wouldn't want that, especially if I was Eddie Kingston. You wouldn't want to lose your debut match here and destroy it with a disqualification. And a knee to the face, a knee to the face, knocking down Eddie Kingston. But remember. Nocturne has a damaged leg, a damaged knee, thanks to Eddie Kingston. And now it looks like he's in pain. It's obvious Nocturne is in pain. And the roundhouse, but his leg gives out. His leg cannot be the foundation for that kick. Nocturne just provided a strong attack, but he's in trouble. Wait, he sends Kingston outside. I may be wrong. I may be wrong here. Nocturne probably has a chance to win this match, but what is he doing? This is not wise, Nocturne. This is this is not wise. A mode salt to the outside, and he further damages his knee. Nocturne here trying to make a name for himself, but at what cost? Let's see a replay of what just happened. Here you see Nocturne with a massive moonsault taking down Eddie Kingston. But he furthers damage onto his knee. Now he's bringing Eddie Kingston back. And Kingston with another explorer but he sends Nocturne outside of the ring. Nocturne is not showing any signs of life other than being held up by Eddie Kingston. What is Kingston going to do here? Back fist to the future. And ladies and gentlemen, it's over. Ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Kingston wins his debut match here in Destroya Attack. And now he's looking at Nocturne here. And the show of mutual respect. Let's give it up for Nocturne. That was a pretty impressive fight. Wait, Nocturne's pointing at something. It's John Morant. 
Ladies and gentlemen, John Morant, third time in a row, attacks Eddie Kingston. And he attacks Nocturne too. He just kicked the damage a knee of Nocturne. What the hell, John Morant? Somebody get John Morant out of here. He's trespassing. And John Morant with a cutter. John Morant just knocked down Eddie Kingston once more. And what is this? What is this? John Morant with a super kick showing us an Eddie Kingston that he can wrestle. John Morant right now is making a mockery, a parody of our sport. Oh, wait a minute. That sounds like Eric Bischoff's theme music. And Bischoff is here with his Vanguard security. Come on, Bischoff. Send this man outside of the arena right now. Gentlemen, you two just helped me fill in another match for Penance. I guess, Mr. Morant, you showing up again in my ring and jumping Eddie Kingston again is your way of making yourself feel at home here at Destroyer. I'm glad you look like you're having fun. But Eddie over there looks to be very pissed off. And that's what pro wrestling is all about. John Morant. It's about making a business out of settling differences because controversy creates cash. So it's official. Morant against Kingston on Penance. Have fun ringing each other's heads off. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now official. Eddie Kingston, John Morant on Penance. But these two men are not waiting for Penance. They're already going at it right now. Somebody stop these two men before murder is committed. And now security being sent to take care of the situation. Get off me, I'm gonna fucking kill that guy. Bischoff, get these robots off me. I'm gonna end that fucking clown right now. Come on, Morant, you fucking pussy. You can't back out now, I'm gonna humiliate the fuck out of y'all. Aw, oh, damn, you can see Eddie Kingston is really pissed off. Joke on penance, motherfucker. You are an absolutely beautiful piece of power that I will never let go off. Nobody else, not a man who likes playing with fire or anybody else, can take you away from my grasp. You and I will be inseparable, and our influence will be almighty. Silver? Is that you? Why the hell are you running? Before you even talk, I have zero time for you. I won't talk to you until you have proven yourself and got a tag partner for penance. Of course you need to win too. That's a must. I'm facing Taz in a non-sanctioned match, and I need to focus my energy on ending his career. So unless you're here to tell me you found a partner, I'm going to need to have to ask you to leave. Or else I'm going to powerbomb you again, but this time through the table behind me. No! No! You won't have to power bomb me, you magnificent giant, Mr. Brody Lee. I'm here because I was just on the payphone with this dude I met the other day, and he said he's totally game to join us. Granted, I promised him a load of cash, but he said he's good for it. I just wanted to deliver some good news. I gotta run back now. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our main event. Here comes the brothers from North Carolina, pioneers of the extreme, the forefathers of tables, ladders, and chairs. Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy, the Hardy Boys have arrived in Destroya Wrestling. Matt and Jeff are legends to the industry, and a win for them means that they can be put into the tag team title picture. Not sure how, but I'm pretty sure if you beat the number one contenders, that's what's gonna happen. And speaking of number one contenders, we got Becky Lynch, the man, big time Bex, stepping it up here in her tag team debut and destroy it wrestling. And some of the crowd will love her, most people don't, but there's one thing you can't deny, Becky Lynch is one talented lass. And another talented person, it's her tag team partner, her husband, Seth 
freaking Rollins who is making his way to the aisle with a flamboyant robe. They call him the architect and they call him a visionary. What he is, is an artist who mastered pro wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, it is looking good for the team of Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins as Seth Rollins decimates Matt Hardy and Rollins knocks down Jeff Hardy and he dodges that forearm from Matt Hardy. What is Rollins gonna do? Sling blade by Seth Rollins. Things are looking good. The sun is looking bright for the team of Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch. They will be facing Kenny Omega and Adam Page to destroy a World Tag Team Champions in penance. You know, they've already attacked Kenny Omega and Adam Page twice. First in their debut, once Kenny Omega and Adam Page defeated Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae. The following week, Kenny Omega and Adam Page took revenge. But just last week, they reminded Kenny Omega and Adam Page of how dangerous they are as a unit. With a backstage attack, and what is this? A Falcon Arrow by Seth Rollins. Lynch runs the ropes. Leg drop. What a massive tag team maneuver. Cover. Jeff Hardy breaks that pin. And Rollins goes inside. Super kick to Jeff Hardy. Rollins charges, but he gets hit with a boot. Matt Hardy. Side effect by Matt Hardy. Neutralizes Seth Rollins. Sends him down. Sends him outside of the ring. But what is this? Lynch pulls Jeff Hardy and Jeff crashes down. And Matt Hardy is not liking what he is seeing. Now Matt Hardy going down. But Lynch runs inside of the ring. What is Lynch going to do? She charges. Dope Suicida to Matt Hardy. Becky Lynch showing off how agile she is. And Lynch with an inverted DDT. She's going to go for the cover here. Jeff Hardy breaks it up again. Jeff Hardy takes that Rollins out. Now Jeff going back to his corner. He's hyping up Matt Hardy so he can make a tag. And Matt Hardy is now crawling to his brother's side. And Becky Lynch denies Matt Hardy's tag attempt. Lynch with an exploder. Matt Hardy counters with a cross body. And the tag to Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy is now the legal man. And Jeff Hardy is going in for a frenzy. He is unstoppable. And he goes back inside the ring. Belly to back suplex. Lynch lands on her feet. And he blocks out kick. But not that one. Jeff Hardy is full of energy. He is unstoppable as he sends Becky Lynch to the corner. Set Rollins inside. And an atomic drop. Leg drop by Jeff Hardy. Followed by a basement drop kick. And now he tags in his older brother. Matt Hardy is not a legal man again. But what is this? Poetry in motion by the Hardy boys. Sending Becky Lynch to the canvas. And... It's a twist of fate, and it connects Matt Hardy with a successful twist of fate. But wait, Seth Rollins pulls Matt Hardy out, and he evades that one. Side effect to the outside of the ring. Matt Hardy goes back inside, and I think he's going to go for another twist of fate, but he gets pushed to the corner, and a drop it to the back of Matt Hardy. And what is this? This armor. A modified disarmor by Becky Lynch onto Matt Hardy. Will Matt Hardy tap? And Jeff Hardy is looking helpless here as the referee try to stop him from interfering. But wait, Matt Hardy counters. Sit out power bomb counter by Matt Hardy. And he escapes that disarmor. Hardy with a clothesline to the corner and a bulldog. Is this over? And the kick out by Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch not letting Matt Hardy have a victory over her. And now Seth Rollins begging to be tagged in. He's begging to be tagged in, but Matt Hardy is in control of the situation. Seth Rollins is frustrated here as Matt Hardy takes control of this match. He's going to go for a tag. But wait, what a counter by Becky Lynch. Matt Hardy lands on his neck. And what is this? Seth Rollins gets thrown out by Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy is now on the apron. What is he going to do? Hardy dives and he crashes onto Seth Rollins. And the fans are loving the action. And what is going on? He, oh no. Jeff Hardy 
He just propped Seth Rollins onto the table. And he's looking above on that lighting rig. Oh no. Oh no. This can only mean one thing. Somebody better intervene and stop Jeff Hardy. But here in the ring, Lynch with a kick to the head. Knocking down Matt Hardy. And oh no. Oh no. Jeff is already on top. Ladies and gentlemen, the charismatic enigma is on top of the lighting there. No, Jeff, you better get down. You better get down. That's like 20 feet, Jeff. No, don't go down like this. And Lynch pulls Rollins. Hardy crashes out to nothing. Let's get a replay of that. And look at that. Becky Lynch just saved her husband. But how is Jeff Hardy right now? And Matt Hardy can't believe it. The way Lynch, Lynch tried to hit Hardy with a steel chair, but she hits the ropes and it ricochets onto her head. Twist of fate, and it connects, but wait. Rollins with a senton, follows up with a moonsault to the back of Matt Hardy, and a curb stop. Seth Rollins just did a stop. That's it, it's over, it's over. But wait, where's the referee? And the referee is over there trying to check on Jeff Hardy. And Seth Rollins does not look happy. Now the referee rushing to the ring for the cover. And Matt Hardy, this is unbelievable. Matt Hardy just kicked out. He just kicked out. Matt Hardy will not die. And he throws off Becky Lynch. Lynch tags in Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins, now the legal man. And Hardy with the attack, but he misses that one. But he throws off Seth Rollins. Drop kick by Matt Hardy, sending down Seth Rollins and a twist of fate. But he gets pushed off and Zaguri by Seth Rollins. This match is unbelievable and Jeff Hardy is being taken backstage to receive medical treatment. And now just some trash talking by Seth Rollins as he picks up Matt Hardy and he's going for the pedigree. He is going for the pedigree. But Matt Hardy counters Rollins on his feet. And twist of fate, he's gonna go for a twist of fate. Rollins counters that attempt. And what is this? Running shooting star press and it connects. That is a move that Hangman Page uses. And speaking of Hangman, oh no, oh no. Buckshot, Hardy counters with a twist of fate. What the hell? Cover. But Becky Lynch breaks that count. Ladies and gentlemen, this is crazy. Rollins tried to send a message to one half of the tag team champs, but it didn't work. And now, a roll up. And Hardy kicks out of that one. Matt Hardy showing some grit in this match. Will he get the victory for his team? Even though technically now this is just a handicap match. As he sends Rollins up on the post. Rollins counters with a sunset flip power bomb. Will Rollins take advantage? And he tags in his wife, Becky Lynch, with a curb stomp to Matt Hardy. And what is this? This is a move associated to Kenny Omega, the Kamigoye. And Becky Lynch wins that match for her team. Ladies and gentlemen, the first tag team victory here in Destroya for Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch who will be challenging Kenny Omega and Adam Page for the Destroyer World Tag Team titles in penance. What a match that was. Congratulations Seth and Becky. That was a good showing from your team as the two of you defeated a legendary tag team in the Hardy Boys. With your attack on the tag team champions last week, how confident are the two of you as you challenge Kenny Omega and Adam Page for the tag team championships on penance? That's a silly question to ask Miss Stacy. You and all the fans have seen how much we have played with the minds of Omega and Paige. We are untouchable. We have their number, and we are counting down the days when me and my beautiful wife can finally claim those titles as our own. We have exposed them as weak and replaceable. Listen up. What you guys saw earlier is me and Seth proving ourselves as the new standard of tag team wrestling. We just decimated the Hardy Boys, and we've been toying with them. And I guess the tag team champions have had enough. They've heard enough as Rollins and Lynch bolts out of the ring. I am sick and tired of the two of you. 
and you guys haven't even been here for that long. All you guys have done is try to sneak on me and Kenny, and it's getting quite fucking annoying. On penance, once we have that tornado tag team match, you two will know why we are the champions. It's all fun and games until you two get hit with a V-trigger and loaded buckshot. We aren't just the elite. Seth, Becky, we are your worst nightmares. You know what? I'm as pissed as Hangman for obvious reasons, and there's too much anger and adrenaline in my veins right now for me to just walk off to the back. I'm not scheduled for a fight tonight, but I think I need a little bit of something to calm me down. So if anyone is in the back wanting to have some TV time, willing to face a pissed off Kenny Omega, get out of here and present yourself. Oh, we're gonna have another match? Wait a minute, that sounds familiar. Ladies and gentlemen, Chuck Taylor is in Destroyer Wrestling. You know, we still have a lights out match, but I guess we're gonna have another match. I thought we just saw the main event. But ladies and gentlemen, now we have Chuck Taylor facing on Kenny Omega, and Omega with a Snapdragon suplex already. Omega is looking pissed and fierce at the same time as he goes for the bait trigger and it connects. Kenny Omega not wasting time here, showing aggression, sending a message to Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch and a one wing and angel on ladies and gentlemen. I think this is over. And it is over. What a great match for Kenny Omega. A very pissed off Kenny Omega. A valiant effort by Chuck Taylor, but sadly, it is not enough to stop Kenny Omega. And wait, what is this? What is this? Even Kenny Omega and Adam Page stopped walking. Oh shit, ladies and gentlemen, I guess it's time for the non-sanctioned match, the lights out non-sanctioned match of Taz versus Brody Lee. It's the last match, but it is not the main event. This match is not recognized by Destroy at Wrestling. Wait, wait, that's the world champion. Brody Lee pulls out Taz. Taz evades that punch and Brody accidentally hits the post. That's gotta hurt. Wait, what is Taz doing? Belly to belly suplex throws Brody Lee across. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, he still has it. Ladies and gentlemen, it feels like we are being transported to the 90s and the ECW arena because we are seeing Taz kick some ass in this match. And it's like Taz hasn't lost a step as he steps on the back of the head of Brody Lee. This is unbelievable. Brody blocks that punch. But Taz evades that one. German suplex. It's like Taz doesn't even have a mild concussion right now. He's opening up a can of whoop ass on the Destroyer World Champion. Taz just punishing Brody Lee and what a suplex. Brody lands on the back of his head and the pinfall and Brody kicks out. Ladies and gentlemen, Taz is giving us a performance here, reminding us who he is, the suplex machine. And Brody, Brody counters that with a stun gun, but Taz with an elbow to the face of Brody Brody with a receipt to Taz. Massive dropkick sending Taz outside of the ring. Now what is the Destroyer World Champion thinking here? He's running the ropes. Dope Suicida. Unbelievable. And now he's ordering Gwen Stacy to leave. And he just scared off Gwen Stacy. What the hell was that for? But wait, Brody's picking up the chair that Stacy was sitting on. And he smashes it on Taz's head. And Taz is busted wide open. He is busted wide open in another chair shot there. Taz is out. Taz is out. Stop this match right now. And a power bomb. Again, we would like to remind all of you, our viewing audience, 
and everyone who just stumbled on this show, we are not responsible for this. This is a non-sanctioned match. This Royal Wrestling is not responsible, especially, especially with that second power bomb to the apron. And Taz is being dragged by Brody. No, Brody, please stop. Please stop. He's had enough. He's had enough. No, 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 not again. Not again. Another power bomb to the apron. I know this isn't sanctioned by Destroyer Wrestling, but somebody needs to stop this match right now. No. He shoves up the referee. No, Brody, please. Brody, I am begging you. Do not continue. Do not continue. Wait, wait, wait. Brian Cage is here. Taz is student. He gets in the ring. Massive spine buster by Brian Cage. Takes down Brody Lee. But what is this? It's the man who idolizes Brody Lee. John Silver interfering. But wait. He lands onto a power bomb. And he gets thrown onto Brody Lee. Brian Cage is showcasing his strength. And now he is checking on Taz. Ladies and gentlemen, we need this match to be stopped. Wait, what is this? Who is this? I am not familiar with this music and Brian Cage just looks annoyed and he's he's challenging the person to come out right now. Who can this person be? Come on you punk ass bitch, show yourself. Holy shit, that is one large man. Wait, I, I think that's the one they call Rhino. Uh, not to be confused with the ECW original Rhino, but oh wait, Brian Cage throwing some forearms. And a drop kick, but it doesn't put down Rhino. Rhino with a massive lariat. And he flips Brian Cage just like a pancake. And he is not done. He is not done. Oh no. Oh no. Brian Cage fighting it off. Power bomb and Brian Cage is down the referee checking on him. Can you feel your legs? Ladies and gentlemen, what is the meaning of this? Is Rhino now part of this alliance Brody Lee has? And Brody picking up the lifeless body of Taz just pin him. You don't need to do this, Brody. You don't need to. A lariat taking down Taz. This is over. This is over and thank God it's ended already. Somebody please bring Taz to the hospital. And, and this is a very scary alliance of Brody Lee and Rhino, who I'm pretty sure is a convict. What the hell? What the hell was that? That ring post exploded. What the hell is going on here? And the lights are out. The lights are out. It's Kane. It's Kane. The big red machine is here. That man is going to be facing Brody Lee for the Destroyer World Championship in penance. And he's making his presence known. That match will be an exploding barbed wire dead match. And I think he just gave an appetizer to Brody Lee of what he is capable of doing. We are fast approaching penance and I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a little bit afraid for this match. And we will see you next time here on Destroyer.